I'm sitting inside a little mini. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And this is the Mini that we've had in the workshop over the last week or so. Um, so <laughs> the story is, it went back to the customer this morning. I've got our friend Adrian to take it back. And I'll be honest with you, as I said, it was Bob that was doing the clutch on it. And I took it for a test drive yesterday around the block and everything seemed okay. Although the only thing I did notice is it went into all the other gears and into reverse fine, but it was it was fairly hard to go into first. And the pedal was sort of right at the very end. There was almost about, seemed about sort of half inch of, of movement on the clutch down the bottom. But I assume that that's what it was meant to be like. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't driven an old Mini for probably 20, 22 years. So, I assume that's what they were like. Although, as I say, the only thing I was a little bit concerned of, it didn't go into first very easy. Anyway, Adrian's took it back to the customer this morning and be before he's even unloaded it, the, the guy's got in it and said, no, that's not acceptable. Um, so he sent Adrian back with it. Um, in fairness, when we got it back, I, don't, I thought, I don't know whether I'm imagining this, but it does seem worse than it was. It was very difficult to get in first. So we've got good old Bob back to have a look at it again and he's come to the conclusion that there's a leak in the uh, slave cylinder so we've replaced the slave cylinder um, the customer replaced the master cylinder before he even sent it here it sort of got to a point and it was it wasn't getting any worse it seemed on the clutch and I just thought because Bob's rebuilt the gearbox that it's just a bit tight to go in the first as I say I ain't got a clue I've, we just built the engines I don't really get to drive them it certainly seemed a little bit worse when it come back here um, Bob's changed the save cylinder and it feels a different pedal altogether now. We've got about an inch and a half of, of movement, two inches maybe, and it does seem to go into first easier. So I'm gonna fire it up now, take it round a block and see what it's like. So pull up, down, into reverse, easy enough. It's Carlos doing a bit of, um, a bit of pressure washing. Up, up into first, no problem at all there. Feels fine to me. In second, no worries. Into third, into fourth. Yeah, seems seems all good now. I just stop and see. Um, oh, that goes straight into first. That's a different gearbox altogether. It feels like. So, God, I'll tell you what, I don't miss driving one of these. Oh. So, just took it for a lap round the block, into first, second, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Pull up, into reverse, no issues at all. That is great. So, I'm happy with that. We'll give the customer a, a bell and send it back with Adrian again. So I do apologise for all the noise in the background, guys. That is us actually working. So for all you um, subscribers there and viewers that moan that I'm always doing this in the quiet and do we actually do any work? Yes, we do. We're absolutely up to our eyeballs in it. Anyway, this here is the one of the brothers, Cosworths. So we've got the... See Carlos over there. He's building the first one. I put the liners in that, the one with the that had the slipped liners, that is. So that's a work in progress. Just waiting for the bits on that. They should be here tomorrow. And this is the other one. You see, I'm just boring it for the liners now. We're on the second bore. So that one's podding away. Slight change of subject. You see here we've got a pair of um, brake master cylinders these are off the kit car so I don't know whether I said but we've got a track day on Sunday it was the track day that we had booked last month um, but it's been postponed to this month and it is this Sunday down at Perrinpoor so if any of you guys are local there or want to come down and say hello to us and um, we're going to have our friend James from Chops Garage he's going to be there with his little Suzuki Swift so we should have a great laugh there but 
since we put the car back together, the brakes feel a bit spongy. Uh, we've bled them twice, pressure bled them, and they still feel a bit spongy. You sort of press down the pedal and it'll, you've got about two or three inches of play, which is a bit, um, a bit daunting before anything happens. And then when you come up and pump them once, they're fine. So we suspect that we've got a bit of a, an iffy cylinder. So I've just ordered two more, got them today, and we're gonna get those fitted tomorrow and bled up and let you know um, what the pedal feels like there. Hopefully a little bit better. I don't know whether I showed you this. This is our little disc and drum lathe. I probably did in a previous video, but I've got memory like a sieve. So what you do is you set the, um, set the disc up on this. So you've got two sort of, two drivers either side that make the, the disc run dead perfectly true. And then you've got a, a cutter here that cuts on both sides at the same time. So what we do is we just touch on there, wind it right forward. And basically put, put a couple of thou cut on and lock each lock each tip, pull back the driver, and away she cuts. Good little machine this. So Carlos has started cleaning up bits for the drop line of Cosworth. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. We've measured the crank measures absolutely perfect and was ground beforehand so we are half a mil down on the big ends and 0.25 on the mains um, but as I say that measures fine but we're just going to it looks like it has had some work before and has been balanced but we're not going to take that for granted we're going to set that up and check the balance at the very least uh, the block is all prepared cleaned and ready to be assembled the pistons, as I said, are in perfect order. We're just gonna clean those up and fit a new set of rings. These are at 0.5 oversize anyway. We're gonna check the sizes on the rods, if in doubt, size them. Small ends are all new, they're, they're perfect. And then we're gonna balance the rods. So once we've got the bearings, which will be here tomorrow, all the bits will be here tomorrow for this one and the other Cosworth over there. So we're just gonna give that a dummy build and check our piston jut out, maybe make some um, changes there, because I've obviously give the block a very light lick over after fitting the liners. Escort Cosworth small turbo engine. This is the one that was sitting over at the back of the mini on the floor, got it on the stand. Carlos has got it pretty much stripped today. So at first look, I haven't measured anything yet, but all looks pretty much um, as I would expect a small turbo escort engine to look inside. These wear nothing like the big turbo escorts and the, the four and two wheel drive Sierras, funnily enough, because of the uh, management. Um, the crank looks absolutely fine. We're gonna measure that um, and maybe give it a grind if in any doubt. We're gonna, it's, this, this is a stock motor, so we're gonna do the usual recondition. So we're gonna face the block. I'm gonna have a word with the customer, see if he wants to put some long studs in while we're at it, but this is only ever gonna be a standard engine. So we're gonna rebore it, sort the crank, balance everything, go through the cylinder head, and obviously things like new bearings, new oil pump, new pistons, and, and this, that, the other. Um, so yeah, get that one measured tomorrow and then I can have a word with the customer and maybe get all the bits ordered and should have those by Monday if all is in stock. Well, thanks ever so much for watching guys. Again, until another video, remember to like, subscribe and please do put those comments down below. Really appreciate that. Really do appreciate all you guys that are watching and, and you, the channel really seems to have took off been getting a lot of phone calls and a lot of engines and, and engine parts and machining work to do off you viewers. Um, obviously, I think the aim of the, vid, the the channel is working. It's doing its trick. We're sort of, um, people are taking a sort of trust in us because of our honesty from the word go. And when they get in touch, they almost feel like um, they know us just, you know, straight away, which is, um, I suppose it's a confidence thing. So yeah, 
can't thank you enough, guys. Um, it's really sort of, it seems like it's really turning the business around already. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it continues. And um, until another video, see you again. Take care, guys. Yeah.